Holbrook, East Bridgewater, Massachusetts, on Camel Bin Bowling. Hi, everybody. Welcome once again to Channel Bin Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, and I'm always speaking by us for the whole crew when I say that we are happy that you joined us here at the Fairway in Natick, Massachusetts. It'll be three strings at Channel Bin Bowling, and as always, it'll be total pinfall that determines our winner. Now, each of our bowlers takes home a permanent souvenir, and these are provided by Din Brothers of Boston and Holyoke. They'll be properly inscribed with the date and with their names. Each will take home some guaranteed prize money also, we have uh, 700 for the winner, 350 for the runner-up, $50 available to the winner of each string, and of course, if they tie, we split that at $25 apiece. Our marksman of the day will receive a $50 gift certificate from Rotman's Furniture of Worcester, Massachusetts. All right, enough of that. I uh, want you to meet the state singles champion, Craig Holbrook. <laughs> Hi. Right, I have a title now. That's right. And I figured if you had that title, by God, I was going to use it. Sure. Right. <laughs> right. And, of course, in addition to that, you happen to be a teammate of the guy that you're facing today. That's huh? right. Yep. We're good friends, too. And, Should have fun uh, today. Yeah. You've been in international competition, the two of you, huh? That's right. Yep. A team event. All World right. teams. Yep. He was in that singles uh, thing this year, too, wasn't he? Huh? I know. He was. He, he was right there in the last string, too. Yeah. <laughs> him, and, him and Dave Dupuis. <laughs> but you are the winner. That's the important thing. And uh, last year when you were on, uh, you rolled a 400 uh, in one of the, the times that you were on here, but you that's didn't right. make the championship show. No, I didn't. Not quite. That's something that eluded me well, for 10 maybe, years now. Well, maybe he's got some to, to, to burn because he's already had a 446 and a 443, huh? In the last <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> All right, I'm giving you a bad time, Tom. No. But, <laughs> but it's, it's just so unusual to have two guys who are on the same team and who have accomplished so much. And mm -hmm. I, yes. This is the third time that I've, uh, fourth time I've had a team member on here. Yeah. How about that? Uh, maybe fifth. I think uh, Don, Don Richmond, Paul Berger. That's Billy because you Drieco, guys are so good. Uh, Mikey Morrell. We, 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 wow. we, we can't talk. We've got to get bowling. All right. Good luck to you and good luck to you, Craig. Right. We'll get underway right after this. Challenger Craig Holbrook. High single 196, high triple 505, league average 129. And a spare lee right away with the four horsemen left side and a piece of wood behind the four and in front of the seven. Oh, man. Nope. A ten. This is Craig's 15th appearance on our program. He has a spare leave on the right side, the six and ten. Piece of wood right across it. He's got it. Tom Osta, high single 209, high triple 504, average 136. All right, here's the same leave. Four horsemen left side. One, two, four, and seven. He didn't get it in a different way, as he took out the one and the four, leaving the two and the seven to nine. a good break. Of course, he gets a lot of action. That's what gives him good breaks because of the way he delivers the ball with steam and with spin. And he has a spare. So they have matched spares. Now Craig Hober. Craig is married, father of one, and he is employed by Coca-Cola. Big nine, almost a strike, left the kingpin, the five. Okay. 
Obviously waiting for Wood to settle down. Now ready to fire. Had to wait a little too long, I guess, for the Wood to settle down and missed the single pin. He's got the three and the seven. Craig won his five-string roll-off, which qualified him to appear on this program with a 666. Nice shot. Okay, Tom Ulsta. Tom won his roll off with a 686. Eight is the fill on his spare, and he is left with the four and seven, no wood. He's got it, two in a row. Okay, after four boxes of the first string and the second, we always take a check on the scoreboard. Tom Osa has two bonus balls yet to roll. Craig Holbrook has one. And in pins already down, it is Ulster 57, Holbrook 48. Challenger, Craig Holbrook from East Bridgewater, filling a spare with seven. And the three pins standing are the one, three, and nine. Oh. Got the one, three, but the nine didn't go. And ten. Now, Tom Osta has $50 in bonus money. Three marks in a row. Once three marks in a row have been established and attained a $50 bonus, then each subsequent consecutive mark in the same string is worth $50 apiece. So let's see if he can add to it. Won't be easy. Won't be easy. Five was the fill, but he's got four horsemen left side and what we would refer to as the inboard pin. Inboard would be either eight or nine. This happens to be the nine. He'd much prefer to have the corner pin, which would be the 10. Well, let's see what he can do. Nope, all but one, and uh, it is so tough. A 10. little heavy on the head pin, but he still wound up with a spare leave, and the two pins that are standing are the six and ten. Got it <clears throat> for another spare. <clears throat> Al Giglio, as usual, keeping score on the electronic scoreboard, and today it's Scott Philbrick who is uh, keeping score on the big board for the live audience that's here. All right, first bonus ball nets him six and leaves him with a three, five, six, and ten. Five didn't go, so the fill was nine. Don Riley is our statistician and coordinator. Ten.
Kevin. Our love line judge and referee, as always, of course, is Ralph Stewart. There he is. Spear in the eighth for Craig Holbrook. Tom Olsta, our defending champion, looking now with no wood to help at one, two, and seven. The seven, of course, was a fill on his previous spare. He just picked off one more and left two. So it's an eight box. Today's crew is Judy Guile, Ron Schindler, Skip Peabody, Glenn Fletcher, and in post-production videotape, George Ellard. So close to a strike, he has left one pin, the four pin. Phil Rubin, of course, is our producer and director. Puts it together, keeps it together. And sometimes it isn't easy to keep it together. He's got it for another spare. Craig Holbrook made his first appearance on our program, a winning one. That was back in 1981 in November. He won again the next week and then lost to Jim Romani in his third week. Six is the fill on his spare, and he's now looking at three, six, ten on the right, seven over on the left, and yes, he made it. Pretty the way he threw that uh, pin over to get the seven. Came back, oh, so close to a strike. Got everything except the six pin. Now the left-hander fires, and he's got it. That was a disappointing one. That got him just four. Not a disappointing string, however. 143 and three marks in a row for $50 in bonus money. Now Tom Olsta. That's nine out of the fill. And he has another. Craig has just rolled a 143. Tom is already 130. Seven more. One forty-four. One forty-five. One forty-six. So, another $50 for Tom Osta, as he has defeated his partner, Craig Holbrook, 146 to 143. Middle string. That means the defending champion leads it off. Here's Tom Olsa, who has been the winner the last three weeks. One, two, and ten. Two pieces of wood, three actually off to the left of the two pin. He made it. Six. Two, four, seven, and six pin. 
Nice shot to take out that left side. He makes it look so easy. He really does. And believe me, it isn't that easy. But I guess that's the same I should realize after all the years of covering sports that the good ones make it look easy. Okay, here's Craig Hober. State champion Candlepins. Looking now at 3, 6, 10 on the right, 4, 7 on the left, and got everything except the 7. Took out that 3, 6, 10 beautifully and sent either the 3 or the uh, 6 over. Got the 4, but not the 7. It's a 10. Now he's looking at three and five. Ooh, that was a surprise when he didn't get either. Ten. Tom Olsta. Down to one pin. And it is number one, the head pin. He's all over it. to help but it doesn't appear it's one piece is off to the right the four pins that are standing are the two four five and seven missed the two took out the five it's a nine Craig uh, missed the head pin, and he has left himself with a diamond, which is made up of the three, five, six, and nine. No, no, I take it back. It's a, a one, three, six, and nine. One, three, six, and nine. One pin left. It's a nine box. that seven to go down, but maybe he will make this. Three, six, seven. Obviously, that was not what he intended to do. The ball apparently slipped out of his hand because it had neither side lined up. It went right down the middle. The hand, of course, is for Ralph Stewart. So it's a 10, and now he shakes his head because it so easily could have been a spare. So again, after uh, four boxes of the middle string, 
We take a check on the scoreboard. Tom Osta was leading after one in case you just joined us, 146 to 143. And he has added to that lead as after four boxes in the middle string, just about halfway through the match, he leads 50 to 39. Our defending champion, Tom Olsta, Sturbridge, Massachusetts, who has the top seed so far for our live championship show. Remember Saturday night, August 28th? Live from the Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill. $10,000 to the winner. $5,000 to the runner-up. Total of $20,000 in prize money. And Tom has just surprised everybody here by rolling a six. Tom, so far in his three previous appearances here, in the first one he rolled a 446, which put him in top seed, and then last week he rolled a 443, so he has uh, two top scores. Missing the three pins that are down there, the five, seven, and eight. The seven is still there. Now Craig Holbrook. We've seen only two marks so far in the middle string for the bowlers. Craig has none, Tom has two, and Craig will have to really work if he's going to get anything here. On the left, it's the four and seven. On the right, it's the three and six. There is a piece of wood which is now about where the two pin would be. Kind of rolling back and forth, about where between the one and two. Two full that time on the three pin. Now he'll go for presumably that wood to take out four and seven, and did for a nine. Five, six, seven, eight, and ten. And got everything except the ten pin. It's a ten. Most of the defending champion is uh, leading off in the middle string. As always, there are four boxes to go. Although he was too full on the head pin, they continue to topple, and he has just one pin to pick up for a spare, the 10. A rare, rare miss of a... Uh, Spare leave by Tom Olsta. Missed it both sides, a single pin. So some of you bowlers at home now, don't you feel a little bit better? Not that you feel glad that he missed it, but you realize that even he can miss them. Now he's looking at one, three, seven. He got the seven, but it was in a weird situation because he missed the one three, then hit a piece of wood, and it went over and got the seven. Obviously, I'm trying to describe this for those of you who unfortunately do not have sight or totally blind or are partially so. And it's a nine for Tom. He's beginning to be off just a little bit. Rolled an opening 146, but now only 83 in the eighth box.
Now Craig Holbrook. Craig now looking at three pins, and they are the one, three, and ten. There's a piece of wood over there. I can't... I think it's too far forward. Well, got the one and ten, but the three pins still there. And it's still there. Craig had himself a strike except the two pieces of felled wood. One fell on each side of uh, on each one on each side of the uh, five pin held it up. Otherwise, it was rocking. But though they rolled right up against it and anchored it, so he's got a spear out of it anyway. Now Tom Ulster, who's only 83 after eight, and that's with two spares. A very unusual score under his name. Now he's got four horsemen left side and the nine pin. Again, that's tough. And he got all but one. Didn't get the seven. It's a 10. 93. And 10, two pins. Yes! Nice shot. Very pretty spear. As you know, his league average is 136, so that's a disappointment for him. Sure wouldn't be for a lot of us, would it? Okay, here's Craig Holbrook. And Craig now looking at the three and nine. He's got it. He had some wood on each side, which uh, helped Obviously, when the two pins are standing alone, it's tough to make 3-9 or 2-8, but so easy when there are 10 of them there as you punch them out for a half whisker left or right. Here's the fill. It's six, leaving him 2-4-7 plus the nine pin. Nope, didn't get it. Nine pin still there. Ten. And by one single pin, Tomos uh, picks up another fifty dollars. One twelve to one eleven, and after two, it is also leading now by just four. Two fifty eight, two fifty four. Our challenger, Craig Holbrook, only four pins separating our two bowlers as we begin the third string. Craig has two pieces of wood to the right of the five pin. The other two pins that are standing are the seven and the nine. Yes, he made it.
six is to fill. He has left the one, nine, excuse me, one, three, eight, and nine. Got two of them. Eight and nine still there. Looking just like goalposts. Sidewall action came back and took them down. He kind of shakes his head. Now Tom Olstein. Tom is looking at a triangle over on the left side, which is made up of the four, seven, and eight. There are two pieces of wood. We're not sure what's going to happen to them. One of them looks like it's going to roll off. It did. It went into the right gutter. The other one now rolling to about the middle. Tom thought he had it, but as we've seen so many times, those triangles can be tricky. It's a 10. Everything down except the 10 pin. There's a piece of wood in the gutter right beside it. And two other pieces of wood rolling way over towards where the seven would be were it there. Now coming back toward the middle. Now he's moved his position closer to the right gutter and fires. He's got it. Craig Holbrook. One pin to pick up. And he's got it. The head pin for another spare. Big nine pin drop. The only pin standing is the 10 pin. There are three pieces of wood on the deck, but they seem to do, be settling down just about where the two pin would be. So he goes right at it, he's got it. So Craig has begun the third string with three spares in the first four boxes, and in the one he didn't spare, he got a 10. Now Tom Osta filling on his second box. And he gets eight as a fill on his spare. The two pins that are up are the five and eight. There's one piece of wood which may be difficult for him to, yes it was, it was a roadblock. It's a nine. Now our challenger has taken the lead by four. Six pin drop, object pin becomes the two, and then he's got the seven, eight, and 10. But he does have some wood be right behind the two pin. Yes, sir, he used it beautifully. pin lead for our challenger right here Craig Holbrook he's working on a spare as he comes up Tom Osta will be also six is the fill but he got a split it's the two and four and the six and ten that's the two and four that's the six and ten Our high-low jackpot is up to the highest it's ever been, 3,300, the 1,710. 
and it has not been hit since December of 1990. Back door strike. They just kept tumbling. Now Tom Olster is working on a spare. Putting a lot of body English up here, but it only knocked one pin down. Uh, that is the body English. He had six down, he got one more. So he's now looking at three pins, the one, the four, and the seven. Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty. Because the two pin wasn't there to help. He had a little gap that he had to go across with the one and then pick up the four and the seven. So close to a hammer. Everything down except the four pin. Another spare, three in a row, another $50 in bonus money. All right, Craig Holbrook up now, and he has had a strike, so he's got a couple of bonus balls to fire here. And the first gets him a strike. So now we'll see, uh, last week Tom Osa had four strikes in a row worth $2,000. Craig has two, one more is worth $1,000. Oh, no, oh, wow, the, the three pin would not go down. What a shame. He's got a spare there. Now Tom Oster trying to make it four in a row. He's left two, but they're side by side, the seven and eight. He got it with the help of some wood. So another $50 in bonus money. Up to 250. He fires again and he's got eight for a fill. The two pins he needs for another mark are the four and seven. He has to wait, rolling wood. Those of you who have vision can see that as Phil gives you a picture of it. Hit it too thin, the piece of wood. So he winds up with a 10 instead of a spare. At 119 with two boxes to go. Craig is already at 130 with another ball to fill. And that gets him eight. One and three for a spare. Oh, he missed the head pin. He can't believe it. He just put his hands on his head. Now he's got the head pin for a 10, and he clenches his fist in frustration. Is it going to fall? Well, it did, but not the way he wanted it to. It fell to the right. He has one pin to pick up the seven. He's already f over 400. Now let's see what it will be. Yes, he got the spear in the last box.
It's got a fine string going. And, and a spike on top of that, a 422. An excellent 422. That ties him with Al Johnson for fourth place for our live championship show. Tomosa gets a spare now in the ninth box. 129. And a strike. 139. And that strike gives him 149 in the 10th. Two more balls to roll, and he's got a total right now of 407. All right, let's see what he gets now with the two bonus balls. He has another strike. Last week, he put together four consecutive for $2,000. And that brings him to 159, and he's at a total of 417. And uh, to beat Craig in the match, he needs five to tie and six to win. Three consecutive strikes. He won again. But even more important, again, he puts three strikes together for $50 for three marks. But in addition to that, a thousand dollars more for three strikes in a row and what a finish these partners what a match these partners put on wow we how about that just amazing just look at that thing will you strike 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 in that final box wow and congratulations, uh, obviously, to Craig. Craig feels fine. That's his partner. And uh, look what he himself did. He rolled a 168, and to Tommy rolls a 169 to win another $50 in bonus money. Look at, look at these partners uh, look, talking to each other. Wow. Imagine that. Tom wins the third string, 169 to 168, wins a whole bunch of money, wins the match, and the final score is 427 to 422. Olsna. What super cattle pin bowling, I'll tell you, just, just great. But we do have some business to take care of here, $250 in the home viewer jackpot. And as you know, the total today, a wonderful total. Gee, last week's doesn't look so big now. It's only 823, this is 849. And uh, 10 either side would do it. But before I do that, remember, uh, if you want to be in on this, send your card with your guess as to what the total pinfall would be on a day you hope I draw your card. And include your name and address. Send it along to Candle Pin Bowling, WCVB TV, 5 TV Place, Needham, Massachusetts. And the zip is 02192. Now 10 either side, of course, will win the 250. But just for having the card drawn, this person will receive a handsome gift from the Parker Pen Company. All right. Let's go down here somewhere. I know somebody out there is saying, that's my card, that's my card. Grab it. Well, we'll see. All right. I get the guess. Uh, uh, you know, uh, okay, this is from uh, Holbrook, Massachusetts. <laughs> no, he lives in East Bridgewater. No, I used to tease him about that before. Uh, Nellie Haskell, but her guess is 700. So, all right. Now, uh, we have uh, $3,300 and three little pins, and you have been raking in the money for the last couple of weeks. Let's see if you can really explode here.
Incredible. Incredible what you... What a show you guys are putting on. I want to tell you, it's really something, and I'm glad I'm here. Okay, uh, let's see. This is the tr this is from Din Brothers, which will be inscribed, as you know, with your name, as if as if you would ever forget this one. Anyway, turn around so the crowd can see you. Okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, Two hundred dollars in bonus money plus three hundred and fifty. And I should explain that uh, Craig is, is tied with Al Johnson with a four twenty two. There will be a one string roll up in case nothing happens in the next three weeks to determine which rolls fourth and which rolls fifth in the championship. Okay. All right. Uh, and I'll, I expect to see you on August 28th. All right. And Tom, man, you wrote, once again, you are the mark from the day. This is from Rotman's Furniture Company. That, of course, is from Din Brothers. And where is it? How much money did you make today? Let me see. Uh, uh, $1,500 plus $700, right? Yeah. $1,500 in bonus and $700. Oh, man. I'll tell you, you have been racking it up. It, it, uh, listen, if you saw this one, you'll be sorry you missed last week too because he had four strikes in a row last week it's been a fabulous couple of weeks and uh, of course you're still top seed which guarantees you five thousand dollars as soon as you walk in the door right yeah well, i don't know <laughs> we've got three weeks to, to uh, sweat this out for trade that's it bye bye everybody see you next week same time